You just prep it in the oven the night before. You don't prep it in the oven. Welcome to the show. Okay, got here. my channel. I'm Elise with All Things Elise. In today's video, we are tackling two Christmas tradition recipes that I want to share with you. This video is in collaboration with several other wonderful channels that you must check out. I'm going to link them all in my description box below. These girls have great dinner recipes, easy recipes. I mean, if you can think of it, they got it. So, Check it out down below. You're gonna see all the links to their channels down below. You're not gonna to wanna to miss all the yumminess in this video. I am making a family tradition. I am gonna be making a pumpkin bread that my grandma used to make and my mom makes, and now I tackled it just recently for you guys. So you're not gonna to wanna to miss that one. Also, my Christmas tradition is always to make a maple syrup cinnamon roll bake. You just prep it in the oven the night before. You don't prep it in the oven. You prep it and you put it in your refrigerator and then you bake it in the oven Christmas morning and you're not gonna wanna miss that one. It is delicious, super easy, and you will thank me later. So let's get right into today's video. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and start by cracking in four eggs, sugar, vanilla, one can of pumpkin and some water and we're gonna get this mixed up. I did double the recipe for me, however, in the description box below will be the original recipe for just one batch. Now I'm gonna be adding in all of the dry ingredients. So we will be using a flour, baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon, a dash of pumpkin pie spice, some sugar, and nutmeg. I'm adding in two thirds cup of shortening and we are gonna get this mixed up. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees and we are going to grease up two bread pans or loaf pans. What is it called? Bread pans. Yeah, we'll go with that. So once we have that done, we're gonna get those in there and then we're gonna to top it with nuts of your choice. Jingle bells ring. Watch out for rain, these are falling down. We stay up waiting for Santa tonight. He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light. While we're dancing around the Christmas tree, hugging and kissing just you and me. are going in the oven for about 45 to 55 minutes check the centers to make sure it's done and when they are that is what they will look like oh my goodness it was super super yummy we ate these for Thanksgiving and I'm sure we will have it again for Christmas so make sure you give this one a try Okay, we're gonna need a nine by 13 pan, two rolls of cinnamon rolls, 
maple syrup. I'm using Vermont maple syrup. Vanilla extract, heavy whipping cream, pecans, six eggs, and don't forget your coffee because it's early. Preheating the oven to 375 degrees and let's go. Okay, in a separate bowl, we are gonna be putting in our eggs, vanilla, sugar, heavy cream, cinnamon, and we are gonna whisk this all together. I forgot the sugar. It was still super sweet, so feel free to do with that information what you wanna do. Anyways, we're gonna mix this up and we are gonna chop up our cinnamon rolls and you guys will see how this turns out. This one is a fantastic recipe because you can make it, prep it the night before, throw it in your refrigerator and bake it in the oven the morning that you need it. You get to enjoy it and enjoy all the time spent with your family versus in the kitchen. So this is a win-win and I really think you guys will enjoy this one. So make sure you let me know how it is. Now that we have this egg mixture in here, we are going to top it with one cup of maple syrup. Oh my gosh, it's so good, but my pants, they don't fit. We're gonna cook this on 375 for about 25 to 30 minutes, but make sure you check it for doneness. Okay, once this is out of the oven, let it cool down for about 15 minutes and now we are gonna use the icing that came with the cinnamon rolls to top it. And you guys, it is ready to serve. Serve it warm. Everybody in the family will love it. guys so much for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it please before you go go check out all these other channels give them a like subscribe thumbs up all of the things so make sure you do that and we'll see you guys in the next one bye all period thing period Elise on Instagram I'll put the I'll put the little you know the little asterisks hashtag something something something